These pineapple leaves used to be worthless. But about a decade ago, a designer revived a centuries-old technique to extract fibers from the fruit. She used it to create a convincing alternative to leather and a new type of yarn. Then we've got this, which is really a metallic. It's quite flashy. Fashion people love it. Pineapple is more popular than ever. The crop grows on over 3,800 square miles worldwide, enough to cover New York City 10 times over. But about half of every fruit ends up as waste. Carmen Ijosa wants to convince growers they can turn a profit from their leftovers. It's really the queen of, of fibers. Famous brands like Nike already use her product, called Pinatex. And Carmen is not alone. Entrepreneurs in other parts of the world are making money from pineapple scraps. Here are three companies turning the fruit into textiles, disposable plates, and eco-friendly cleaners. The idea for textiles made from pineapples is nothing new. It actually dates back to the 1500s. Pineapples come from South America, but once they made their way to Europe, the fruit became a status symbol, gifted to royalty, like King Charles II and Spanish King Ferdinand II. The Spanish brought the fruit to the Philippines, where locals turned it into a fabric called piña. It was mainly used to make barong Tagalog, a traditional formal shirt that centuries-old technique inspired Carmen when she first heard about it 30 years ago. I was working with leather at the time, but I realized the unsustainability of the leather manufacturing processes, and I discovered natural fibers. Pineapple leaves turned out to have the perfect mix of strength and flexibility, and they can grow up to six feet long. That gave me the idea of what if I make a mesh, not unlike what leather is, she spent decades perfecting her process before she launched her company, Ananas Anam, in 2016. At the start, it was really like, what? Uh, what are you doing? You know, why not keep using leather? Her research resulted in two different products, Pinatex, which mimics the qualities of animal leather, and Pina Yarn, a replacement for yarn. I'm a, what you can call a serial entrepreneur, Ananas Anam partners with the Dole Sunshine Company and independent farmers to employ over 500 people. Workers harvest pineapple leaves that would otherwise be burned or left to rot and run them through a machine that extracts the fibers. The sun dries and browns them in just a few hours. The fibers are then shipped to Barcelona to become piña yarn. This machine acts like a guillotine chopping the longer strands into manageable pieces. A carding machine straightens the fibers, then grinds them until they resemble cotton. The baler compacts the mass into tight squares. The fibers are then transported to Portugal, where they're spun into the final product. To make Pinatex, a needle-punching machine knits those same ground fibers with threads made from cornstarch. The result is a thick fabric, the sheet passes through a 30-meter-long conveyor belt to be dyed and dried. A resin made from plants and petroleum is used for color and adds durability. Then, a heated roller flattens the textile and dries the resin. The company says it's working to make Pinatex entirely plant-based. Pinatex is 95% made from renewable resources, so we've got a 5% to work on. One square meter of Pinatex uses around 16 pineapple plants worth of leaves. The company says it saves 825 tons of leaves from being burned each year. Ananas Anam sells its products to big brands like Nike and Hugo Boss, along with smaller companies that make notepads, backpacks, and handbags. Ijosa says she plans to explore other textile alternatives in the future. I'm here in Spain, and I'm already looking at what is being used traditionally. You come back to me in two years' time, and I will answer this question. Pineapple leaves might be good for making textiles, but what about the rest of the fruit? 
In Colombia, a company called LifePack shreds pineapple crowns to make compostable plates. The mixture is blended with recycled paper and turned into sheets that are left out to dry under the sun. A machine presses the sheets into form. If these disposable plates end up in a place with soil and water, tiny seeds inside will blossom in just a few days. El producto fue diseñado no solamente para que se degradara o se biodegradara o se compostara, sino además eh, quisimos ir más allá porque es que el producto te genera vida. On a busy day, workers at LifePack can churn out 10,000 eco-friendly plates. Hemos usado residuos que antiguamente los estaban botando y eso lo estamos transformando. Entonces, esa es la ventaja, esa es la diferencia que nosotros estamos haciendo. In addition to plates, the company also makes sandwich containers and coffee cup sleeves that contain seeds from edible plants like cilantro, amaranth, and strawberry. LifePack caps its own carbon footprint by working with local suppliers. Para hacer nuestros cartones y papeles, nosotros no talamos árboles y eso es un factor esencial porque, digamos, dejamos de talar 16 árboles por cada tonelada de producto eh, hecho por nosotros. It sources pineapple waste from a nearby processing plant. The plant's owners charge nothing for the pineapple crowns. They're happy that someone is willing to turn their waste into a resource. Nosotros lo que hemos buscado es cómo hacer el tema de la economía circular y la corona pues nos parece que no puede quedar en mejores manos que en ellos que han hecho un trabajo tan bonito. Pues para nosotros lo que ellos hacen es muy importante. Husband and wife team Claudia Barona and Andres Benavides founded LifePack 12 years ago in the city of Cali. The couple has won several small business awards and they even appeared on the Colombian version of Shark Tank. Porque cada vez que nosotros veíamos que habían reuniones en casas, en apartamentos, en fincas, en asados, en parques. Siempre veíamos la contaminación tan grande que había con estos otros productos tradicionales, que son de plástico o de espuma. Colombia, like nearly every country in the world, is trying to reduce plastic waste. In 2017, the country introduced a tax on single-use plastics that increases each year. And in some cities, informal pickers are now paid as municipal workers. But getting consumers to buy these products isn't easy. Cuando nosotros iniciamos, que fue hace más o menos unos 10 años, eh, la gente nos decía que estábamos locos, porque aquí en Colombia, eh, casualmente, la gente no era muy muy amigable con el medio ambiente. Todo el mundo utilizaba lo más barato. The Life Pack plates retail at about two and a half dollars per dozen. That's more than double the price of plastic plates from a big box store. Despite their higher price point, LifePack has been able to capitalize on growing demand for sustainable packaging, which has increased by 40% since the company started. Its plates are now sold in three large supermarket chains domestically. The company also handles dozens of orders through its website each week, with a handful of customers in the U.S. En un solo turno de trabajo podríamos hacer quizás unos eh, entre 6.000 y 12.000 platos. De hecho, eh, ahorita hay más más demanda que oferta, entonces estamos sobrevendidos. Eso significa que la respuesta en el cliente es eh, positiva y que el producto tiene un mercado. LifePack's next challenge is to modernize its equipment so it can boost production. Andres and Claudia also plan to franchise the business and expand into new countries to help more people cut back on plastic, one plate at a time. Even if you don't eat off of pineapple plates, you can still use the fruit to do the dishes. In Vietnam, one company uses pineapple peels and cores to make natural soaps and detergents. The founder, Le Duy Huang, says they're safer for the planet and people. So safe, he drinks the stuff every day. Oh, thật ra rất là chua. Có rất nhiều axit, hữu cơ rồi các vitamin. Không khác gì chúng ta ăn hoa quả vào người thôi. Fermented fruit is part of a new trend. Cleaning with enzymes instead of harsh chemicals. Does it actually work? Throughout history, people have used all sorts of stuff to wash up. Everything from animal fat to human urine. In the early 20th century, scientists figured out how to make suds in a lab using fossil fuels. That paved the way for all kinds of synthetic gels, powders, and cleaning chemicals, which are all detergents. So much whiter she can actually see the difference instantly. The problem is, they were full of stuff that water treatment plants weren't built to clean out, like phosphorus and nitrogen. 
when those elements flood waterways, they can make algae grow faster, creating thick layers of muck that suffocate life below. That's exactly what happened in North America in the 1960s. Lake Erie is almost biologically dead. Today, detergent pollution has spread around the world, foaming up rivers and fueling overgrown algae. Fuwa Biotech is betting that fruit cleaners are the next chapter for cleaning products. The name Fuwa comes from the phrase fruit warrior. The company buys fruit waste from a factory that makes canned pineapple. Workers here chop thousands of them every day. This pile is from just a half day's work. These used to rot in nearby landfills, creating bad smells and methane, a powerful planet warming gas. Now, workers load the scraps onto a truck and travel about two miles to the production site. Here, the team unloads the fruit skins and washes them. Cho nên mọi người nhìn thấy là đây là dứa rất là sạch và chỉ kề về làm làm rửa sạch đấy thôi nữa thôi. Next, they mix together the first ingredients, sugar and water. Fuwa uses about two metric tons of sugar every month. Vì đường là cái thức ăn cho vi sinh vật hoạt động nhân sinh khối. Cho nên là không có đường thì không thể lên men được. Workers add the pineapple peels to the sugar water and wait for the mixture to start to ferment. Fermentation is when microbes, like bacteria or yeast, break down complex molecules like sugar into simpler stuff like alcohol. It's how barley becomes beer and grapes become wine. At Fuwa, fermentation is how waste becomes cleaning fluids. But the secret isn't alcohol. It's the enzymes and acids the pineapples will release. Enzymes are molecules that speed up chemical reactions, like digestion in the human body. Certain enzymes can fight germs by entering cells and breaking them apart from the inside. This can either kill bacteria or just slow them down enough that they probably won't make you sick. But to make those germ-stopping enzymes from plants, you have to ferment the right mix of ingredients for just the right amount of time. Workers here stir the mixture every day. After about a month, it looks like this. Các cái vỏ dứa sẽ mềm hơn. Người thấy bắt đầu nó đã bị tơi ra rồi. Và đã có bắt đầu có mùi thơm rồi. Rất là chua. By two months, this glob of bacteria and microorganisms forms. That's how you know it's working. The founders don't keep any of their process a secret. Dứa này thì 10 phần nước này, 10 phần nước, 1 phần đường và 3 phần dứa. Huang says he learned this technique from Rotsukon Pumponbong. She's a scientist and Buddhist nun who figured out the formula, then shared it freely for others to use. After the mixture ferments for three months, there's enough acid and enzymes for it to work as a cleaner. Now it's ready to be filtered. Thì chúng tôi đã lọc lọc trong lọc trong để lấy cái enzyme trong trong nhất và bơm lên cái 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 các cái tép chứa như này. The leftover solids become fertilizer for nearby farms, and the remaining liquid is the base for everything Fuwa makes. Kết hợp cùng một vài cái phụ gia an toàn từ dầu dừa, dầu ngô từ tinh dầu, từ tất các tinh dầu bản địa Việt Nam để tạo thành các chất tẩy rửa. Fuwa buys those oils from local farmers, who make them using agricultural waste like stems and leaves. The final mixture is bottled and shipped to mini marts around Vietnam, or to online customers in most countries. One bottle of dish soap sells for just over two dollars. Huang says that's less than the cost of similar imported products. Fuwa uses an on-site lab to test its products, and it looks at competitor stuff as well, measuring the pH and testing for other additives. Cleaning with fermented fruit is a fairly new concept, but there's evidence it has a lot of potential. Researchers compared a pineapple enzyme mixture to bleach in water and found it killed one type of bacteria equally well. And early research suggests fruit enzymes might even make wastewater cleaner, 
we know more about common chemical cleaners like bleach. They kill lots of germs, but come with other risks. Huang started making fruit cleaners when his wife, now the company's CEO, developed eczema. Vợ tôi bị viêm da cơ địa, tức là da bị nứt nẻ rồi chảy máu vào mùa đông. Và tôi cũng thấy cái phát hiện ra đó là cái 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 cái, cái nguyên nhân của cái cái việc của bệnh tình của vợ tôi ấy, là do sử dụng cái một phần nguyên nhân là do sử dụng cái các chất tẩy rửa công nghiệp. Studies have linked cleaning products to skin irritation and breathing problems, including asthma. When used and stored properly, they're safe for most people. But mixing bleach with the wrong cleaners can create deadly gas, which happens thousands of times per year in the United States. So could we one day replace household bleach and detergents with fermented pineapples? We asked an expert. You'll be surprised, yes, <laughs> totally yes. But he also said we need more research. There's only a certain number of bacteria that it has been tested, so probably got to do a wide range of studies with a wide range of microorganisms to ensure that it's really effective. Enzyme cleaners pose another challenge, shelf life. It will be one of the major issues. With certain temperature, it might be inactivated. Fuwa says its products can last about two years which is about as long as most chemical cleaning sprays. Still, Fuwa has more work to do. With so much pineapple processing in the region, the company says it has lots of waste to work with. Và có thể scale lên gấp 5 gấp 10 lần bây giờ mà không không gặp nhiều vấn đề về nguyên liệu. But mainly, the founders want people to know there's a gentler alternative. À, không chỉ là một cái sản phẩm của Fuwa mà chúng tôi muốn là người dùng biết được cái tác dụng của Ecoenzyme so they're eager to spread the word. Sứ mệnh của mình đó là giúp người dân trên toàn cầu bớt đi một nỗi lo trong cuộc sống hàng ngày. Đó chính là nỗi lo các hóa chất độc hại trong gia đình của các bạn.